This is how you can book 20 sales calls per month for your business or agency in any niche. This is exactly how we guarantee book calls for our clients at my company, Agency Evolution. So before you even start sending any cold emails, it's important you build out your acquisition funnel first. This starts with a landing page. Build a simple landing page in something like framer.com. This won't take you more than four hours, and then you'll have something perfect that you can use for your agency or your business. Now, script a quick VSL and then record it over Loom like I'm doing right now. This video won't be more than two to five minutes long, and it'll just explain what your offer is and how it can benefit your customers now build out a quick booking page with Calendly. so the funnel will look something like this they will see your landing page go to your vsl and watch that and then at the end they'll book a call with you on your booking page if they were interested in what you sell when we have to start sending our emails we need to first set up a whole domain and tech setup you start with the domain what you'll do is you will buy 10 subdomains for example if your main domain is nike.com then you'll buy 10 subdomains that sounds something like trynike.com and the nine other ones that are similar to that domain. With these, you'll create separate inboxes per domain. You'll buy three inboxes per subdomain. So when you have trynike.com, you'll make lucas at trynike.com and lucasm at trynike.com, etc. You'll make three in inboxes, giving you a total of 30 inboxes. Now you have to set all that up in instantly. So add all your inboxes to instantly and then press the fire icon to start warming up your inbox. You need to warm up your inboxes because they're so new and you've just bought the domains and inboxes. So you have to give them two weeks to warm up so you're not landing in spam and your emails are actually getting delivered to the people you're sending emails to. Now, the total sending capacity for this will be 10 domains split into three inboxes each. will give you 30 inboxes. Each inbox can send about 35 emails per day, giving you 30 times 35, which is about 1,050 emails every single day you can send with this. Finding high quality leads can also be super difficult, but with this three-step process, it's made very, very simple. So first, you need to source your leads, which you can do with the best lead source for your niche. So if you're in the e-commerce space, you'll just go to store leads or to build with and get your lead. If you are in the B2B space, more something like agency owners, you can go to clutch.com. If you're in the SaaS space, you can go for crunchbase.io and scrape a bunch of different SaaS companies. Now, enriching the leads will give you the personal emails of these companies. So you'll go to Apollo to get the personal emails by enriching these leads that you've gotten from store leads or built with. And the reason why you do this is because you don't want to send emails to contact or info emails. You're not going to get any responses. You need to get the personal emails. Now, verifying the leads. It's important that you verify your leads so you're not landing in spam and you're not sending emails to fake or old emails. You can use bulk email verifier and scrubby.io to make sure every single lead you're sending to is verified and good to go. Mark those three steps off the list and you are ready to start sending. So now for the script writing, the frameworks and the principles that I follow to make sure we're booking 20 calls a month for all the clients. So the framework that we always use for scripts is very simple. It's a four part framework. You can easily learn and implement into your own scripts. It starts off with relevancy and a pain point and then goes on to your offer plus some case study and some social proof. And then at the end, a call to action. Here's what it would look like in an actual email. So it starts off with, Hi Lucas, are you having any issues with bringing in new projects for your company as summer is approaching? So for example, this is for construction businesses where summer might be a time of the year where it's harder to bring in projects, which you can then leverage in your copy. Knowing your, your ICP that well and understanding their pain point and having this relevant first line can be massively, massively beneficial for your emails. Now, after that, you'll go into your offer plus some social proof. You can even, in this one, we've mixed them together. So we said, we recently helped a client add 54K in revenue in just four months with less than 2K in ad spend with our unique construction growth program. So here you've added the offer and the social proof into one paragraph, and then you end the email off with a quick call to action, which in this case was mind if I share some more info on this. It's a soft call to action, and they'll simply say, sure, send over some more info, or they'll say, no, thanks. If they say, sure, send over some info. If they say yes to you sharing some more info, you will share some more info, and then after that, you can try to book them onto a call. So once they've said yes to the info, you know that they are actually interested in what you do, and then you can book them onto a call. Now, here's the actual principles we follow. So we start off by writing five to 10 different scripts with this framework, and then we'll pick out one to three winners after about two to three weeks of testing when we have enough data to pick out the winners. Then again, we create another five to 10 variations of those one to three winning scripts. Now, you simply repeat steps two and three until eventually you have some hyper-effective cold email scripts. It's not that hard. You just need to test enough scripts and find the best relevant pain points or the most important things. So the first line saying something that's relevant to your ICP is the most important aspect of your cold email. So that is what you want to be testing out the most. Now to the CRM and following up with prospects. So a CRM, we usually use Airtable for CRMs. A CRM it can be simply built inside of Airtable, which is the purpose of the CRM is to keep track of interested leads. That's all it does. It's keep track of the interested leads you have in your pipeline for you to be able to follow up and know who to follow up with. Now you just add your leads to your CRM and you follow up with them. Every time you get an instant reply, 
in your on your emails you will add that lead to the crm and from here you will simply follow up with this prospect every two to seven days until you get them onto a call re-engagement offers and re-engagement follow-up can be fantastic for getting leads that are ghosting you so if a lead leads ghosting you for a while send them a re-engagement offer to get them back in the conversation. This can be something like a free audit or a sample that they can get. For example, if you do email design, you can say, you know what, Lucas, I usually don't do this, but I think there's a lot of potential with your brand. I would love to do a free sample for you just for you to test out what our services do. Now, this will actually get the prospect to see some interest and actually get back to you instead of you just saying, hey, I'm just bumping this up, which won't bring them any interest. You need to give out some value to get a response back, which you can do with re-engagement offers, giving out free audits or free sample. Now, a secret trick that you can also use if someone's being stubborn and they're not following up with you or not getting back to you when you're following up is you can send your follow-ups at the exact same time that you got the first reply from them. So if someone replied to you at 11.51 a.m., you can go in and actually send them another follow-up at 11.51 a.m. because at that time of the day, they will most likely be on their email.